a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Natasha Richardson Natasha Jane Richardson was an English actress of stage and screen. Richardson was a member of the Redgrave family, being the daughter of actress Vanessa Redgrave and director-slash-producer Tony Richardson, and the granddaughter of Michael Redgrave and Rachel Kempson. Early in her career, she portrayed Mary Shelley and Ken Russell's Gothic and Patty Hearst in the eponymous 1988 film directed by Paul Schrader and later received critical acclaim and a Theatre World Award for her Broadway debut in the 1993 revival of Anna Christie. She won the Tony Award for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical, the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Actress in a Musical, and the Outer Critics Circle Award for her performance as Sally Bowles in the 1998 Broadway revival of Kubarat. Some of her notable films included Patty Hearst, The Handmaid's Tale, Nell, The Parent Trap, and made in Manhattan. Richardson died on the 18th of March 2009 from an epidural hematoma after hitting her head in a skiing accident in Quebec, Canada. Early life. Richardson was born and raised in Marylebone, London, a member of the Red Gray family, known as a theatrical and film acting dynasty. She was the daughter of director and producer Tony Richardson and actress Vanessa Redgrave, granddaughter of actors Sir Michael Redgrave and Rachel Kempson, sister of Jolie Richardson, half-sister of Carlo Gabriel Nero and Catherine Grimmond Hess, niece of actress Lynn Redgrave and actor Corin Redgrave, and cousin of Gemma Redgrave. Richardson's parents divorced in 1967. The following year, she made her film debut, at the age of four in an uncredited role in The Charge of the Light Brigade, directed by her father. Richardson was educated in London, at two independent schools, the Lycée France et Charles de Gaulle in South Kensington, London, and St Paul's Girls School in Hammersmith, London, before training at the Central School of Speech and Drama. Theatre Richardson began her career in regional theatre at the West Yorkshire Playhouse in Leeds, and, in 1984, at the Open Air Theatre in London's Regent's Park, when she appeared in A Midsummer Night's Dream with Ray Fiennes and Richard E. Grant. Her first professional work in London's West End was in a revival of Anton Chekhov's The Seagull in 1985. Soon after, she starred in a London stage production of High Society, adapted from the Cole Porter film. In 1993 she made her Broadway debut in the title role of Anna Christie, which is where she met future husband, Liam Neeson. In 1998, she played the role of Sally Bowles in San Mendes' revival of Cabaret on Broadway, for which she won the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical. The following year she returned to Broadway and Closer, for which she was nominated for the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Featured Actress in a Play, and in 2005, she appeared again with The Roundabout, this time as Blanche Du Bois in their revival of Tennessee Williams' streetcar named Desire, opposite John C. Riley as Stanley Kowalski. In January 2009, two months before her death, Richardson played the role of Desiree in a concert production of Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music, opposite her mother, Vanessa Redgrave who played Madame Armfelt. At the time of Richardson's death, the pair were preparing to go star in a Broadway revival of the musical. Film In 1984, Richardson made her first credited screen appearance as an art duter in the James Scott directed Every Picture Tells a Story, based on the early life of the painter William Scott. She later starred as Mary Shelley in the 1986 film Gothic, a fictionalized account of the author's creation of Frankenstein. The following year she starred opposite Kenneth Branagh and Colin Firth in A Month in the Country, directed by Pat O'Connor. Director Paul Schrader signed her for the title role in Patty Hearst, his 1988 docudrama about the heiress and her kidnapping. Her performances opposite Robert Duvall and Faye Dunaway in The Handmaid's Tale, and Christopher Walken, Rupert Everett and Helen Mirren in The Comfort of Strangers won her the 1990 Evening Standard British Film Award for Best Actress. In 1991, she appeared in The Favour, The Watch and The Very Big Fish alongside Bob Hoskins. He later credited her with giving him the best kiss of his life during the film. She got hold of me and kissed me like I've never been kissed before. I was gobsmacked. Richardson was named Best Actress at the 1994 Carla Vivari International Film Festival for Widow's Peak, 
and that same year appeared in Nell opposite Jodie Foster and future husband Liam Neeson. Additional film credits include The Parent Trap, Blow Dry, Chelsea Walls, Waking Up in Reno, Made in Manhattan, Asylum, which won her a second Evening Standard Award for Best Actress, The White Countess, and Evening. Her last screen appearance was as headmistress of a girls' school in the 2008 comedy Wild Child. During the last week of January 2009, she recorded her off-screen role of the wife of climber George Mallory, who disappeared while climbing Mount Everest during a 1924 expedition, in the 2010 documentary film The Wildest Dream, for which Liam Neeson provided narration. Director Anthony Geffen described listening to the film since her death as harrowing television. Richardson made her American television debut in a small role in the 1984 CBS miniseries Ellis Island. That same year she made her British television debut in an episode of the BBC series Oxbridge Blues. The following year she appeared as Violet Hunter alongside Jeremy Brett and David Burke in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. In the episode entitled, The Copper Beaches, she starred with Judi Dench, Michael Gambon, and Kenneth Branagh in a 1987 BBC adaptation of the Henrik Ibsen play Ghosts, with Maggie Smith and Rob Lowe in a 1993 BBC adaptation of Suddenly, Last Summer by Tennessee Williams, portrayed Zelda Fitzgerald in the 1993 television movie Zelda, and starred in Haven on CBS, and The Mastersons of Manhattan on NBC. Personal Life Richardson's first marriage was to filmmaker Robert Fox, whom she had met in 1985, during the making of Anton Chekhov's The Seagull. They were married from 1990 to 1992. She married actor Liam Neeson in the summer of 1994, at the home they shared near Millbrook, New York, and had become a naturalized American citizen. Richardson had two sons with Neeson, Michael and Daniel. Richardson helped raise millions of dollars in the fight against AIDS. Her father, director Tony Richardson, had died of AIDS-related causes in 1991. Richardson was also actively involved in AMF Arkansas. She became a Board of Trustees member in 2006, and participated in many other AIDS charities including Bailey House, God's Love We Deliver, Mother's Voices, AIDS Crisis Trust, and National AIDS Trust, for which she was an ambassador. Richardson received AMFAR's Award of Courage in November 2000. A long-time smoker, although she had reportedly quit smoking, Richardson was an outspoken opponent of the ban on smoking in New York City restaurants. Injury and Death On 16 March 2009, Richardson sustained a head injury when she fell while taking a beginner skiing lesson at the Montana Tremblant Resort in Montana Tremblant, about 80 miles from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. She was flown to Lenox Hill Hospital in Manhattan. New York City, where she died from an epidural hematoma on March 18, 2009. Richardson's family issued a statement the day of her death. Liam Neeson, his sons, and the entire family are shocked and devastated by the tragic death of their beloved Natasha. They are profoundly grateful for the support, love, and prayers of everyone, and ask for privacy during this very difficult time. On 19 March 2009, theater lights were dimmed on Broadway in New York City and in London's West End as a mark of respect for Richardson. The following day, a private wake was held at the American Irish Historical Society in Manhattan. On March 22, 2009, a private funeral was held at Street Peter's Episcopal Church near Millbrook, New York, close to the family's upstate home, and Richardson was buried near her maternal grandmother Rachel Kempson in the churchyard. Richardson's aunt, Lynn Redgrave, was buried in the same churchyard on May 8, 2010, near Richardson and Kempson. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?